A big day ahead for federal student loan borrowers this morning. Interest on their balances will begin to accrue again after a three year pandemic pause and ahead of a full restart of loan payments next month. There's already a mix of anxiety and obligation. If you're getting an education to do something like teaching like I did, you're going to have a job. So if with the job comes expenses and you just you need to pay back what you owe. I think that student debt is really holding back these young people from making other decisions that really can contribute to our economy and we all are responsible for that. Many borrowers had their hopes of relief dashed after the Supreme Court struck down President Biden's student loan debt cancellation plan this summer, ruling the president does not have the authority to erase $400 billion in debt without congressional approval. We find ourselves in a situation where because of that promise, a lot of us, literally tens of millions of us, made decisions with our lives to move forward. I didn't give borrowers false hope, but the Republicans snatched away the hope that it was, they were given, and it's real, real hope. The White House arguing the plan would have put money back in people's pockets. They then would give back to the economy, right, or be able to buy a home, or able to, to, uh, to do things that actually build back the economy. The president is now working on a plan B. He's looking to invoke the Higher Education Act of 1965, which allows government-backed student loans and grants to be adjusted, waived, or outright canceled, though details of the plan and who might benefit are still unclear. While student loan payments will restart October 1st, exact payment dates will depend on the lender. Borrowers should start receiving their new bills in the days ahead. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.